What's going on guys, Lordy here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing 90 Stroikov and he looks insane. 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 84 physical, 87 passing. Now looking at that card stat, there should be absolutely nothing wrong with this card. He is 5'10", he's just outside the meta height, meta height is 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 but 5 foot 10, not a problem at all. Medium, medium work rate. So for me, a striker, aka attacker, should be high medium. But medium, medium is not that bad at all. Now, he is left footed. He has got a three star weak foot. That weak foot is going to be quite annoying. I'm not going to be able to shoot with his right foot. And I'm maybe he's going to be struggling on the passes. I'm not sure. Now, the four star skills is going to allow me to obviously just do the standing scoop turn and the burber spin and stuff like that. So that's going to always be nice on the have on a striker. I did pick this guy up for 695k, so you have to take that into account. Hawk chemistry style on this guy, 10 chem obviously. 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Very, very fast. I'm expecting them fake shots around the corners to be like, like to accelerate very, very nicely. I'm expecting him to outpace most centre backs. Now, 99 attacker positioning, 97 finishing, 98 shot power, 87 long shots, 99 volleys, and 99 penalties. A very, very nice shooter. Now, this guy doesn't have the outside foot shot trait or the finish shot trait, so I don't know. His finishing should still be clinical inside the box, but it's always nice to have them traits. Now, this guy has 88 vision, 85 short passing, 84 long passing, 89 curve. Looking at them passing stats, he can low-key play as like a cam if you want him to. Now, the fact that an attacker can pass as well with these amazing stats, it shows how good this card could be. Now, EA will obviously determine that to do with the gameplay. Now, 89 agility, 83 balance, 88 reactions, 89 ball control, 91 dribbling, 89 composure. Should feel very, very agile, should feel nice on the ball, shouldn't really lose control of the ball at all. Nice composure as well. Now, he has 83 balance. That's the only thing I'm worrying about a little bit. Simply because that 83 balances might be, you know, if I got if I turn an angle too fast, he might be doing a falling over animation. So I'm going to be looking for that a lot. Now, yes, 88 jumping, 80 heading accuracy, and he is 5 foot 10. So we'll be winning quite a lot of headers. Maybe not over like 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3 players, but 6 foot 1, 6 foot shouldn't be a problem. He has 83 stamina, which is actually pretty nice for a medium, medium person. I feel like 83 stamina is perfect. You don't need higher, you don't need lower. Now, 86 strength, 99 aggression. Now, the 99 aggression is going to come into play. I'm going to see him winning most 50-50s. I'm going to be seeing him, with, like, even, like, kind of want that ball even more than the opponent. Hopefully, he even increases his pace. But that strength is going to be super nice because I'm going to be able to hold up play with him. And that's why I'm starting to look at this card like a perfect cam in a way. If you boost that uh, the short passing and long passing a bit more higher, I can't see anything wrong about this card. Now, obviously, he's an icon, so you can link him up wherever you want. But I've linked him up with Sissoko and Mendy today. I've also got the likes of Suarez, Timo de Jong, and Messi in the team. I will be using Stroikov as a it was, as a striker this this video. But then I will be switching him to probably a 4-2-3-1 and see how he plays in the land position. So, 4-4-2 up front and 4-2-3-1 is the formations I'll be playing. But let's get straight into these games. Stroikov making an amazing run. Fake shot. Nice. Very nice. Look at the turns. It's beautiful. Can we get a finish with the right foot? Oh. See, right there, I kind of wanted an outside foot shot angle. Just to, you know, hit it with the kind of finish into the top bins. But unfortunately, he doesn't have it. It's a great turn. Can I get a cut in? Can I get a beautiful finish near post? And yes, I can. What a finish. I think that was outside the box as well. If I was correct. Let me see. I'm not 100%. I kind of want to see the distance again. Just inside the box. So it wasn't like a very close distance. And the fact that he put that much shot power into the shot. And how he hit that right into the corner. Shows me that he's finishing. Might be very, very nice. Beautiful scoop turn. Can I get a finish? Yes, I can. Look at the rifle he has with that left foot. It's beautiful. The amount of shot power he gets towards it. The, the accuracy is crazy. Now... I personally think Stroikov would be one of the best, I mean, I mean, one of the best attackers in this game if he had a four-star weak foot. 100%. That's why I always thought about him, but obviously I'm reviewing him now. So let's see if that kind of that kind of thing steps up to the plate. Oh my god. 
I really don't know what to say. Now, I wanted to do the little cheeky one too, strike of and thingy, just to get strike of that momentum speed. But I did not expect this to go in. And Stroikov is looking like a little, you know, my team of the group stage, Lewandowski finishing wise. Beautiful play. With the drag back, can I get a finesse? Oh, that's a very nice block. Now, I personally think that was actually going in as well. No, did you see how fast he was turning there? I, I did a bit too much, but hey, I felt that momentum when he was dribbling. So I said, why not? Let's try it. Let's show around the corner. Can I keep it up? Stroika fighting for it. Double ball roll. Oh, if I just could get the shot off. I personally think that was a goal. That was so nice. Nice. Little dummy. On the first time finesse. A beautiful finish. Beautiful turn. I can't really say anything bad about this card right now. He's agile. He's amazing at dribbling. His shot is incredible. He is fast. What can I say bad about this card right now? I really can't. Beautiful finish, man. Beautiful run. Little cut back. I'm going to go for the finesse because I saw the near post covered and somehow he has managed to get it on. Very nice run. I've noticed that Shroikov makes a, makes a lot of nice runs. So that's always nice to see. It's beautiful. I'm going to full pelt this near post. Oh my god. Do you see the amount of power this guy this guy hits the ball with? The keeper literally has to tap this away. There's no chance of catching that. Beautiful one-two plays. Use that pace to get into that gap. Come on. That's one thing that I've noticed from him is that he doesn't use his pace a lot. It doesn't feel like he has that 95, I think it is, acceleration. It really doesn't. He feels quite... He feels quite clunky and slow while running. But when he's on the ball, he feels amazing. Beautiful passing plays. Turn on to his left foot. Ah, okay. Next time I'm going to trust trust his uh, right foot. See, that's kind of what I mean about me being readable with him. Simply because he, you're kind of forced onto your left foot if you have a freestyle. That's a beautiful run from Stroikov to give me the passing option there. Can you use your pace? Now, it is the 70th minute, and look at his stamina. It is completely gone. Beautiful top pass there. I can't believe we didn't get a better finish there. What a pass. Nice. No, that is beautiful, honestly. Had to turn him. I had to mock it, and obviously, I didn't see him move the keeper. That's annoying. I saw he did move the keeper, but I don't know why I didn't acknowledge it, thinking that it would still go in. But that is a beautiful pass from Stroikov. But that's what kind of what, kind of what I mean. When his stamina starts to get very very low, you can move him into a cam position and he can play he can play balls like that. Can he play a beautiful pass? Oh, if that that ball needed to be pinpoint perfect to kind of get there. Stroikov through the gap. Hold him off. Hold him off. Hold him off. Beautiful pass. Can I get a sweat as well? Oh, just couldn't get the perfect goal. But you see how Stroikov there kind of held off the player. That is very, very nice. And that's what you kind of want to do in that situation. Just wait for the run. With the left foot. Oh, that was a lot of power that I put onto the B. Thinking that I needed it to rattle the net. Nice. Good hold up play and very, very good turn. I'm going to actually hit this near post to see if he can get it in. I should have ball rolled the keeper there. The only reason I shot near post there was simply because I didn't think the guy would bring, bring out his keeper. Quick cut back. Strike off. <sighs> That's my mistake. My mistake. But we are going to try a finesse with him here. Oh my god. He just gets all the rebounds, doesn't he? What a ball. Back across. I shouldn't have here back across. But what a ball. First time from Strike off to do that. That's beautiful. That's absolutely amazing. Oh, come on, man. He's got that 99 volleys as well. How has he not scored that? So agile. So agile. And the fact that you can do the double ball rolls and all of that, that and make it feel nice on him is one of the biggest things for me personally. Because the fact that I could kind of make that uh, angle, make that position so Lionel Messi can that, have that easy of a finish... It shows how good Stroikov is. 
That's a nice hold up run by Stroikov. And that's amazing acceleration. Can he get there though? I'm going to try to hit this back stick. Ah, that's kind of the worst option I could have chose there. Beautiful turn. Nah. I liked how he used his pace a lot there. Like he kind of accelerated past someone instantly. That's always nice to see. Cheeky one, two. Beautiful pass. Ah, Messi just can't get a finish. But that's what you're going to get from Stroikov that you're not going to get from a lot of, like, a lot of strikers. The fact that Stroikov can pass a ball perfectly. You're not going to see that from a lot. Beautiful. With the right foot. Ah, okay, okay, okay. If I did that, I should have done it with his left foot. So, it's time to review. And let me say, this card is very, very nice. One of the top attacker icons that I can actually see. Now, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 87 passing, 84 physical. There was no doubt in mind this card was going to be good. 5 foot 10, not a problem at all. Medium, medium work rate, not a problem at all. Makes the perfect runs come short when I need them to come short. Now, the freestyle weak foot was a big problem for me simply because I did not like to shoot that weak foot. He was not the greatest with it. He did shoot it with less power than his left foot and kind of forced me onto his left foot a lot. Now, the full star skills feels very nice on him. The burb spin, the burb spin feels amazing because he kind of has that bulky body in game. And he is 5 for 10. He's not the smallest attacker. He kind of does the burb spin and puts his body in the way of the defenders so they can't get it. That is very nice. The scoop turn also felt very nice on him. Hill to hill felt very nice on him. Just an all-rounded, very nice skill move player. Now, uh, acceleration, amazing. In the first game, he didn't show it, though. So, and the first game, I did feel a bit of bad gameplay. I'm not going to lie. In the second and third, I did start to get into uh, decent gameplay. And he started to feel very, very fast. Outpacing a lot of players. Finishing-wise. Now, he finished a lot that were that were like like you know guaranteed ones that some that were you know i needed him to hit with shot power and he was hitting it he was banging it now there's other opportunities like there was a certain volley that he didn't score that was quite open there was there was some that he did go in but i feel like the ones that i was taking the proper shots with they were all flying in and you don't really see that a lot you don't really see that consistency now the passing wise the fact that an attacker can pass like this is amazing amazing he has a beautiful long pass a beautiful short pass he links up perfectly i can't really say anything about his passing agility wise now he didn't feel the greatest in the first game but in the second or third when i started to get into good gameplay his agility was crazy he was turning left right and center doing all the ball rolls doing the drag backs i was doing everything i could possibly do with any other striker now jumping Winning headers, very nice. Stamina-wise, this is where the problem comes in. Stamina died near the 70th minute, and I didn't like that at all. He was started to become a bit... He started to come very, very slow, very, very clunky. Uh, wasn't really doing the right stuff in the right situations. But I have, obviously, an alternate to that. Move him down to Cam, because he can play Cam as well, and he will become a perfect Cam. So there's a bit of an alternate, which is very nice to have as a uh, icon. Now, 86 strength, very nice. No one was bodying this guy off the ball. 99 aggression also made him very, very fast. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. He was nice. He was very nice, I must admit. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. A very, very nice card for the price it is. 700k. You got yourself an amazing attacker. That is an absolute bargain. Now, a 10 out of 10, it has to be the 4-star weak foot. It has to be. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with this guy's stats. Everything is all rounded. Everything is perfect. You don't need anything upgraded. It's simple as. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure, obviously, to subscribe because I know a lot of you just watched the video and don't subscribe. But uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, if you subscribe, you can kind of see when I upload the next video because I'll be doing a lot of icons in the next coming days. And the future stars will be coming out very, very soon as far as I know. So you guys are going to be getting content left, right and centre. So if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.